Is that Chris? At this point, we dragging it. But I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Um, the more I look at this situation, the more it really just shows, bro, that all was just mad because he wasn't invited. And to be honest with you, he could have just contacted Fifty like an adult and a grown man. But going about it on social media is not the way to go, bro. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bro. It's Lucas J here, y'all. Back with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Tony Yayo on the roster. Yes, bro. We got Tony Yayo on the roster. And we got your boy Hurricane Chris back on the roster. Now, it seems like Tony Yayo responded to pretty much everything that's been going on. And then Hurricane Chris even responded to 50 Cent again. And at this point, this situation is just getting messy and it's tiring. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Take your L. But they say, take the L out of love of brother. It's over. It ain't that big of a deal. Now, we're gonna talk about it. But before we do real quick, bro, y'all know my little routine, bro. Hit that like button, you feel me? And smash that bell so that you know you can be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can also keep y'all updated on this situation, bro. And real quick, bro. Um, I heard TikTok paying niggas now. Uh, once you get 10K, I met like 2,600. I've been dropping content, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Stop playing. I don't know if y'all can see me real good. Hold on. Y'all gonna show love to my TikTok, man, at Lucas J. And whatever, bro. Show love to my shit. Now, as I said, bro, pretty much, you know, Hurricane Chris name has been trending all over social media after him and 50 got into it yesterday. After he went on a rant on his page, mad, basically saying that 50 was coming down there to exploit his hometown and that he threw a concert just for the money and he didn't invite no artists from Louisiana out there. And what he doing was foul. Supposed to be a n that's a part of hip hop. You throw a concert in louisiana and don't book no louisiana legends and put no bankroll in no louisiana legends pocket but you pay the police a half a million dollars what type of bitch is that you ain't with my city nigga. you taking advantage of my city because cheap and, and, and it costs way less than it costs where you from and y'all stupid slow so crazy that y'all gonna let this come down here and not show no love to louisiana this ain't book no now News came out, uh, the truth came out, and the lot of tech, the tech, that was a lie. For one, um, you know, he had two Louisiana artists on there. They said Master P was there, but also Fredo Bang was there, who was actually from Baton Rouge, and also another rapper, which I don't know his name, but he ended up showing love to 50 Cent. And he said he was pretty much invited, and you know, he was on the show. Now, if y'all don't know what show we talking about, 50 threw some type of little bad shot there, some show called um, Humor and Harmony, excuse me. Whole bunch of comedians, whole bunch of artists, and it was going crazy in Sheree Port. Now, why Hurricane Chris got that mad when we ain't heard from him in that long? I don't know. Now, y'all know 50 Cent's a troll. 50 responded to him to my Hurricane Flips. Boy, your issue is whack and saying you get no play in my ride. You feel what I'm saying? Now, right after that, bro, Hurricane Chris went back on his page and he said this. You, you big dummy. You just proved my point. You don't know shit about the city. Sheree Port just said I got one song. Go all the way back to Five Entertainment. That's how I know you don't know shit about the city, homie. You just a culture vulture ass nigga that seen some shit sell and you wanted to come profit. Now go ahead and go get some niggas something since I didn't got on your ass. Go ahead and go try to pound it to some niggas and put some niggas on or do something and help some niggas because you see I'm getting on your motherfucking ass. Go ahead and try to play chess like that. You ain't gonna outsmart me, nigga. Ain't none of these dumb ass fool ass niggas you ever dealt with. Nigga, I got a whole catalog of shit. Me and Boosie got a mixtape. Nigga, I've been dropping music in Shreveport since 05. I've been touring in, Sh in Louisiana and all these Texas areas since 05. Dumb ass nigga don't know nothing about our culture. That's why I was going off on this nigga. Because I know this nigga don't give a f to do no research about us and our people. Shreveport, man, say, man. Stand up or fall for any motherfucking thing. You got to stand up for something, man. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't recall... Not that I know of, um, 50 ever said that he only got one hit. Um, all I heard 50 say was that your junk is whack and who you think you is, Fredo Bang. And he went on to say, you know, 
he did a tape with Boosie, went on saying he's still been touring and saying that, you know, he be doing shows in Louisiana all over Texas, which is that like his area where his song was probably popping. And I'm going to be real. You know, the whole a Bay, Bay era was crazy. We all know that like the a Bay, Bay and the player rock. I was rocking with him. Like he had a little wave, but I ain't going to lie, bro. Nobody is checking for you and you're not getting booked that much. That's a part of rap, bro. You go up, you go down. Simple as that. And he put up the post and said, lack of knowledge is what make you important. Is ask Bebe why he taught me a kid and so signing for 30k and maybe i have more numbers one if you're a rat friends then play me as a kid and i got a heavy catalog that they know word for word in my city but you did no research on our history you saw a chance to win for yourself now right after that you know academics posted his response and tony yayo which is you know 50 right hand man really wasn't smelling nothing that was going on and went on to say negative some news spread so fast now y'all know tony yayo um, people say he's a gangster, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know too much about him. Maybe I'm not you know, educated enough. You know, I ain't saying he's soft or nothing like that at all. I'm just saying I don't know too much about him, me personally, because like bro, I'm from down south, bro. I can care less about what he did in 50 Cent. What he did in New York with 50 Cent in the streets. That has nothing to do with me. You feel what I'm saying? But he got a point, you know. Um, nobody was ever talking about, you know, Hurricane Chris, period, until this situation. Other than a situation where he took a man life in self-defense but literally though he, he got a point bro that's negative news but that man ain't gonna be trending unless he's talking about something negative so he got a point with that but at the same time bro you gotta blame 50 cent for giving him the energy that he's looking for you know um giving him the response he's looking for and no disrespect to you know hurricane chris you had a little song back in the day you had a run bro but like you know time goes on you know all good things must come to an end. It's all about what you're gonna do next. It's cool, bro. It's life. It is what it is, bro. That don't take away from who you are. If you know you raw, then you know you raw. It's that simple, man. But give me y'all thoughts and opinions and let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section, man. You know, I just want to give y'all some content real quick. Let me know how y'all feel. Y'all already know who it is, bro. It's Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more than I ever will. And yeah, bro. I'm out, man.